हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ शिवांगी देसाई आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर द वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ डेटा विजुलाइजेशन टुडे सम टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द यूनिट नंबर 6 दैट इज इंफॉर्मेशन डैशबोर्ड डिजाइन इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्प्ले मीडिया दैट आर यूज्ड फॉर डैशबोर्ड डिजाइन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट बुलेट ग्राफ एज वेल एज स्पार्कलिंग both of this are used as a display media for the dashboard design so let's start with bullet graph a bullet graph is a variation of a bar graph which is developed to replace dashboard gauges and meters bullet graphs were developed to overcome the fundamental issues of gauges and meters they typically display too little information required too much space and are cluttered with useless and distracting decorations and that's the reason that the bar graph is called as display junks in dashboard design a bullet graph is useful for comparing the performance of a primary measure to one or more other measures so let's have a look that how the bullet graph is appear bullet graphs are used to compare one value which is represented by a horizontal bar to the another value which is represented by a vertical line and relate to quantitative ranges this vertical line represent a comparative value for example a target last year's value or some goal while the horizontal bar represent the value of interest or we can say the actual data now there are different colors that you can see in a bullet graph this color ranges can be set to define different segments such as fail okay over expectation etc in terms of sales or performance we can categorize this ranges of color as poor average or excellent now let's discuss the anatomy of bullet graph so as you can see this example shows the revenue of 2016 ytd the upper part of bullet graph is the text label for the given bullet graph our bullet graph contains four different parameters the first one that is the vertical line is called comparative measure which is the target marker for comparative measure you can set your goals as the comparative measure next is our feature measure the central line that is black in color is our feature measure or we can say bar length which is our performance score it depicts the actual data this feature measure represent the revenue of the year 2016 which is actually achieved now our bullet graph is segmented in three different shades of gray this gray colors can be labeled as poor average and excellent and the number on the side of the bullet graph shows the scale bullet graph can be displayed in the context of a graphical table or separately in a text area in the given example the bullet graph reside in a graphical table the table contains this year versus last year data of northeast south and west for that three different bullet graph is used it compares sales performance for species in different regions this year to sales performance last year the background color ranges are qualitative ranges in the given example they may for example indicates that if the bar is within the leftmost color range the sales performance is poor while if it is within the rightmost color range sales performance is good so from the given example we can conclude that the sales performance of northeast is excellent where the sales performance of south is average whereas the sales performance is west is poor because it is on the leftmost side of the graph the general idea of bullet graph is that they can be included directly where they are needed whether in tables or text in order to provide information at a glance bullet graphs can be set up to change with filtering like 
any traditional spot fire visualization or they can be logged to show fixed values using the data page in the bullet graph setting dialog. So to core out we can say that bullet graph is a valuable notation that can be used to compare the performance of any company or to provide any comparative note on a dashboard. It is used as a conclusive graph that shows the achievement of the particular data. The main advantage of bullet graph is it can be added directly and it provides the overview of your data. It can be used to measure any comparative data. Now next is sparkling. A sparkling is a very small line chart typically drawn without axis or coordinates. It presents the general shape of the variation typically over time in some measurement such as temperature or stock market price in simple and highly condensed way. The sparkling is look like line chart. However, it is different than line chart. Sparklines are small enough to be embedded in text or several sparklines may be grouped together as elements of a small multiple. So we can either plot a single sparkline or we can plot a group of sparklines to show the variation of our data. Whereas the typical chart is designed to show as much data as possible and is set off from the flow of text. Sparklines are intended to be memorable and located where they are discussed. So the main purpose of the sparkline is to show the historical data, for example the data of stock market and usually the sparklines added along with the text or description about the topic. Here is an example of a sparkline that shows the sales performance of each salesperson of the company. In our example, we have the data of three salesperson that is John, Peter and Tom. So here it shows the sales performance of each salesperson over the period of eight months in a tabular manner. The data inside this table shows the ratio of their performance along with a sparkline which shows a graphical form of the same data. So this is how we can embed our spike line along with the data. So that's it about this lecture. Thank you.